What's the business? You already know who it is. You already know what time it is. It's your folk, International Keys, and I'm here on this beautiful, marvelous Monday. So welcome to another episode of Get On Your Mom. I'm excited. Forgive the noise in the background if you can hear it. We're working on getting things situated, but we got to move forward. We got to move forward. So let's get it. What's the day character? We already discussed the foundational basics. You are spirit, soul, and the body. We discussed that and back to the basics on our very first episode. Then we got right into thoughts. Watch your thoughts because they become you. Then we got into words. Watch what you say. And then we got into actions. Watch what you're doing. What are you doing? We got into habits. Doing it, doing it, and doing it well. Then, you know, Thursday, we got into our Thanksgiving Thursday. And then we got into what? Today. And that's character. So let's get it. Character. I looked up the word character and I was like, whoa, I, I, okay, I see what this is saying. And it's true. When I looked up character, it said the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. The mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. So that's you. That makes up you. Another definition said what a person thinks, feels, the way they act or they behave. They are their character. So I said, what? And I did look it up and destiny was a part of the phrase that I was sharing with you all this time. Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits because that becomes your character and your character will lead you into your destiny in so many words. So, character is so important because at this point we see whatever our character is, it's going to lead us into our destiny. So if our character jacked up, then we need to get that straight. Now what? Watching our thoughts first. Getting a hold of our thoughts. Casting down imagination. Casting down those thoughts that are contrary to the moral code written on our hearts by God. You did that. So when we do things we know is wrong, we got, we got to work on not doing that. Through his power, that's the only way that I can truly live right by him, to be so honest, you know. So, you got to understand that the things that we think, they will manifest themselves in our life. So, watch your thoughts because they become your words. Stuff that you continuously speak out your mouth. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. We spoke on that. We talked about Dr. Masaru Emoto and how he did the rice experiment and also did certain experiments with water. This stuff is groundbreaking and amazing. How they took a jar of cooked rice, three jars, one was neutral, one was the good jar, one was the bad jar. And they spoke to the bad jar, I hate you, you stupid, you ugly, wop you wop, whoop you whoop. And they took the good jar and they spoke life and love into it. Amazingly, amazingly, go look up the rice experiment. Amazingly, excuse me, the bad jar turned moldy and ugly extremely fast. It is amazing. You have to see this. And I pray that it will empower you to understand to really be mindful of the words that come out your mouth. Even more. I'm not just telling y'all things. I'm really working on this every day in my life. I wasn't brought up rich. I wasn't brought up powerful. And with all these tools and keys and principles that you get now, I just wasn't. I grew up with people calling you all type of nicknames and funny names and speaking these doubtful things into you unaware because most people are not taught these type of things in America, especially in my black community. I'm African American. So a lot of this stuff is not taught to us at all. And y'all know I'm pull the race card and cry and moan and complain. I'm a person that, of change who desires to change and share stuff with other people who desire to change and want to change. We ain't just going to stay in the same place. That's why we're moving forward. For real. So check this out. I understand that the thoughts that I have are going to determine the words that I say. Words of doubt. Words of faith. Words of unbelief. Words of faith. Words of belief. You understand? That's very important. It's very critical. So then my words are going to determine my actions. What am I doing with my time? If I'm moving forward and being about my father's business, if I'm moving forward and being and being productive and not busy, because busy ain't work for hell of beings, but production is very important. Period. It's a difference between busy and productive. I don't like being busy. I know a lot of busy people ain't going nowhere. They treadmill status. That's a new one. Treadmill status. I ain't got time for treadmill status. I'm moving forward in productivity. Businessmen, entrepreneurs, people that's being productive, they get things done. They get things done. You see them next week, they further than they were last week. 
You see them a month from there, they further. But these people that's busy, they're in the same place. I ain't never got time. I ain't got no time. I ain't got no time. That's all they say. But I counsel them words over me in Jesus' name. That's how I rock. I don't speak those things into my life. And if I do find myself speaking something, I counsel those words like I shared with you last time because I want my character to reflect my thoughts. So my thoughts must not be thoughts of worry, thoughts of fear, anxiety, and depression, but thoughts of progression, thoughts of goal accomplishment, and things of that nature. You did. So when I'm saying my thoughts become my words and I'm speaking words of life, then my actions are lining up with my words, which line up with my thoughts, and then it becomes habitual. It becomes a habit. As you saw, I was progressively and persistently producing these videos. You saw that with your own eyes. So you began to see the character of my thoughts. Uh, they said, I am going to be persistent. I grew up starting stuff and not finishing it. I developed that failing habit. So I worked hard by faith to change that failing habit, to complete and finish the things that I start. So I'm telling you, this is real. So you must look at your life. You must scrutinize your life and the things that you're doing, which you see are habitually failing you. If you're always late, if you always never have enough money, if you're always dealing with these negative things, you must stop, look at them, and see how you can fix them. I already referred you, I referred you again. Check out the book by Charles Duhigg, D-U-H-I-G-G, -G, Charles Duhigg, called The Power of Habit. Besides the Bible, because that goes without a saying, that goes without saying. That book is very powerful. It shows you the way that we think, the way we're wired, and how powerful habits are in our life. And if you can get a hold of your, your habits, you can be very successful in doing what he called you to do. It ain't about having a whole bunch of money and balling out of control. It's about living your purpose by being the character that he created you to be. To be the character, to portray the character that he desires for you to portray. And that's love, life, and godliness. You understand? Because when we do these things, everything falls in line according to his purpose for us. You understand? And that's the bottom line. I done did the bad things. I done sold the drugs. I done, I done, I done, I done, I done did bad things. I done done bad things that I wasn't supposed to do. And they got me in a place that I wasn't supposed to be. Even the good bad things I've done lead you down the wrong path. I'm just telling you what I've lived. And I know plenty of other people that have done the same thing. So watch what's on your mind. Thoughts become your words, words become your actions, actions become your habits, your habits becomes your character. So we want to have good, upstanding character. What are our mental states? The mental or moral qualities distinctive. That means directly for you. So you might always be on time. You might not be a late person. You might wake up early and get things done. You might always pay your bills on time. Everything might be in line for you. That's great. Share with someone else how. We must share with each other. That's a characteristic. Give it. Be a giver. Share with other people. You understand? Do unto others as you would have them do unto me. That's why I take my time and pour into individuals. I take my time and share with others the things that God has shared with me so I can be a blessing. People have done things for me over my life. I can't and will not say that they have not. However, I wish that they knew these secrets, quote unquote, to share with me a long time ago. I'd be so much further. So much further. For real. Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, that becomes your character. Your character will lead you into your destiny. So I'm, I'm telling you, I'm working hard on myself more and more so that I can be the person that I'm called to be. So your character. One thing I learned in the military, and we're going to get into that too, leadership. Leadership. L-D-R-S-H-I-P. That's how they spell it. Why? Leadership. L. Loyalty. Duty. Respect. Selfless service. Honor. Integrity. Personal courage. I still remember those things. That was years ago when I went. Loyalty. Duty. Respect. Selfless service. Honor. Integrity. Personal courage. Those are our ethos. They become our ethos. You know, our character. That's the culture of the military. You understand? The overall culture. Leadership. We're loyal to each other. We fulfill our duty. We respect one another. 
It's about selfless service. It's about honor. It's about integrity and personal courage. So this becomes a character. You portray the character. You portray your inner qualities. So if you're a jacked up person, that's your character. If you're selfish, if you're stingy, if you don't want to give, you don't want to do anything, you don't want to change, that's your character. And I encourage you to change your character. So check this out. Y'all already know who it is. Y'all already know what time it is. We wrapping this up. What is your character? Look in the mirror and see what your qualities are. Begin by faith to become aware of the thoughts that you have. Begin to become aware of the things that are on your mind. Are you always worrying? Are you always in fear? Are you always in doubt? Are you always in unbelief? Are you walking in faith? Are you believing? People like me, I believe in God to do for me. And I take my, my steps in faith to show my faith. But are you in belief? Are you in faith? Are you in work? You don't think it's going to happen because of this. You don't think it's going to be happening because of this. Oh, you got to run out of time. I know why. I know why. Can't lie to you, gotta keep it real. Without my God, man, I should have been killed. What's a wild boy, no machine gun? Kelly, but the streets I did run. Was raised good, but the streets bad. Workaholic, another name for dad. But he loved me and so did my fam. Yeah, I did 95 with more money with grand. The good weed leaf and the white stuff. Almost got me killed, put in tight cuffs. This the flip side that you don't hear. DB's at life plus 43 years. What's a gangster? A real hard head. Most of my folks that left people dead. So I'm glad to say that I.